What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at Super Crate Box Episode 2. Actually Episode 1 Part 2. Yeah. Um, basically in this episode we're going to be looking at continuing our movement. So we've got our create event. As you can see, just assign all our variables. And let's create a step event which will contain all of our movement um, functions. So I'm going to call this here movement and the first thing we're going to do is assign some local variables as checks now the reason why we do this is but mainly for convenience and faster accessibility now make sure you do not do keyboard check pressed because keyboard check press only fires it once whilst keyboard check fires it every single time you hold the button if that makes sense right l key equals keyboard check vk left of course you guys can change these variables according to your preference and var j key which is jump key to be keyboard check pressed now the reason why we do press because we, we want we don't want them holding down the space bar um, VK, no, ORD. We're gonna make this the letter Z. So now we have these variables um, in place. We shall start with the movement. So the first thing we're gonna do is check for ground. So if place meeting, place meeting is a function that can tell whether one object is colliding with another x y plus one now x is basically left to right and y is up to down so if it's y plus one that means that it has to be colliding from the bottom it's saying if our feet is touching the solid then then v speed equals zero so we don't want um our velocity our vertical speed to move anymore and if we are on the ground then let's jump so if j key then v speed equals negative j speed now if we aren't on the, the ground however then we're going to be using gravity to push ourselves back down to the ground so if v speed is smaller than 20 so we, we want to cap it at 20 which is our maximum velocity and v speed plus equals grab now we can also do some let's comment this little gravity and here is the controlled jumping now what controlled jumping is is um, for example you hold down the jump button and that'll get you to a higher distance. Whilst if you, in in the contrast, in contrast, if you just tap the the um, jump button, it'll only bring you a very short distance up. So if keyboard check released already Z, which is our jump button, and V speed is smaller than negative 3 then we're gonna do something we're gonna cap the v speed at negative 3 cool now let's start moving left and right move right so if r key I'll make sure like that if r key then h speed equals speed all right, that's pretty self-explanatory. If L key, mm, I recommend doing that. If it's left, if we're pressing the left button, then H speed equals negative speed. Now the reason why is because um, for let's say our our origin is in the center. If it moves to the right, then it'll be a positive number. If it moves to the left, it's a negative number. Uh, if you don't math and stuff, it's like a Cartesian plane. It's pretty simple. So that's, so that's why we're doing that. 
moving left. Cool. So now we're gonna check if we aren't moving. So this is gonna avoid bugs and helps our game stay stable. So if we aren't pressing the, uh, the, the right button or the left button, all right. Or let's say, oh, why do I keep on doing that? I keep on capitalizing the K, okay? Or if we are pressing both, so I press and. Or we are pressing both down. So for example, if the computer, um, if we press both down, right, the computer wouldn't really know which way to go. So we can just say that just don't move. H speed equals zero. Alright, cool. Now let's do the collisions. Now collisions are a really important part of movement and platforms. Probably the hardest part to understand as well. And I'm going to be using Sean Spaulding's code, which is probably the best out there. Um, so if place meeting, I'm just going to write the code down and then I'm going to explain afterwards. Plus hate speed, y, o solid. I'll, I'll just do a really quick brief explanation. So if we are colliding with a solid, then while we aren't, why are a solid? Then we're gonna move a couple of pixels to the direction of of our speed. And we're just gonna leave that HP equal zero. Cool. So what is this code is actually saying? So it's saying if we are colliding with the solid, all right, then basically we're just gonna stop. However, while it is um, not colliding with the H speed, and the sign is basically trying to find its direction. For example, if our H speed is equal to negative three. That means that it's going left. If it's going, if it's three, that means it's going right. So what sign does is, if h speed is negative three, it outputs it as negative one. If it's three, it outputs it as one. So um, this will just check which side um, we are being, we are colliding. Um, if so, then we're just gonna move a couple of pixels to our desired direction. And X plus H speed is just moving horizontally. Cool. Now let's do the exact same thing for the vertical collisions. So if place meeting X Y plus V speed or solid. Okay. Then once again, while not place meeting x y plus the speed um sign actually. So as you can see, it's very similar to the horizontal collisions as it's the same system. Y plus equals sine v speed. And then v speed equals zero as a default, and v sorry y plus equals v speed. Cool. Um, now the final thing we have to do is basically get our sprites to work because our sprites right now is basically defaulted to um, the player idle sprite. I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. I just want to get this tutorial quick. So you don't have to um, stay here for like 20 minutes or something. So if our key or our key. Now this is basically saying if we are actually moving. So if we're pressing the, the, R, the right key or the left key, then let's just change our player sprite to S play walk with the image speed of 0.6. Of course this depends on what sprite you're using. 
now else so if we aren't pressing anything then image speed go back to 0.3 with a sprite index of s player idle and the next one is direction of sprite so how are we going to control the direction for example if we're moving right um, if x previous is smaller than x then image x scale equal next one else if x previous is oops is bigger than x then image x scale equal negative one now what image x scale does is it scales the sprite horizontally so one basically it's just normal negative one flips your sprite horizontally all right let's see if this works let's place our player object right here and hopefully all will be good All right, well, you can see we can walk around and jump. And yeah, as you can see, the collision seems to be working fine. If we don't move, it works. If we move, you can see our player sprite. And it looks pretty cool at the moment. So this is the basics of our Super Crate Box game. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to spawn random crates around the map every single time you collect it as well as a weapon system in the following one. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment, leave a like, favorite it, whatever you want to do, and hopefully you can learn something out of this. So I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.